This is Camps in the Oracle, and I am documenting a download in regards to sexually transmuted trauma. Um, trauma that may not be connected to a sexual experience still leaks into our sexual experiences. And one huge breakthrough in my research and discoveries and embodiment practice is knowing the power of a man's semen, his sacred seed. This is the anointing oil in ancient text. And what happened to us was the 3D social construct said if people, life force energy, is stored within their semen we will tell them that if you don't let your semen out and ejaculate you'll get blue balls and you will suffer and you will be in pain and you will be endangering your body and that is psychological warfare against your own body your own sense of self and so a lot of young boys in coming into experimenting through puberty and discovering their sexual energy believe this to be true. And what it did was took away the nourishment that is meant to rise up the spine and feed into the brain stem connect into the brain which provides healing energy for the brain and if we look at the statistics and see how many males are dealing with brain development delays such as autism um, Asperger's ADHD emotional dysregulation all of these things can be an effect of leaking out your anointing oil throughout your lifetime. And it's kind of like the brain dehydrates because it's not receiving the seed that can bring forth life and help create a baby. If that fluid can help create a baby, then that fluid has trillions of of cells that are programmed to harness the power of life and creation and if that is being leaked out being pushed out given out it's not returning to hydrate and lubricate the brain and its function so this was one of the breakthroughs in the research that I'm doing because I know many of us who have went through the spiritual awakening are on our ascension process. We're noticing areas where we are deficient in our ability to connect in a vulnerable, intimate way. We may be noticing areas where our partners are disconnected and we may be discovering the connections to certain experiences that cause us to not feel safe and to fear certain things. Um, so the other side of this is the male blaming the female for giving him blue balls, which was a form of pressure put on the female to have sex with the male. To help him avoid pain. And this creates a psychological program of codependency. Where women felt like they were responsible for helping men to avoid getting blue balls. To avoid the pain and discomfort associated with that. Even if their body was not open and not saying yes. The pressure and the guilt trips of you leaving me like this, right? 
And so the woman feels responsible for the man's sexual function. And the man feels the woman is to blame for what could potentially be a painful situation. So by him blaming her, he has given his power away to have control over his own body, his own sexual energy, which causes him to feel inadequate in the future because he can't control his own body and his body's reactions to the feminine. So this created discord between the genders. Now, there's so much more that I will be sharing. However, I'm going to break this down in episodes as I share, as I'm building up to, well, what are some of the solutions and what can we begin doing? For this specific issue that I'm noticing is affecting a lot of couples, a lot of people, even single people, are noticing things about themselves. If you are the masculine, you want to practice no fap. Practice not ejaculating. Practice bringing yourself to the sensation of climax, but disciplining yourself to not release the energy and the second step would be to bring that energy up the spine using breath and visualization bring it up to the base of the skull and visualizing it coming back and circulating into the brain to nourish your brain if you happen to notice you have mood disorders or emotional dysregulation issues or memory issues, um, issues with ruminating on negative things, by putting this life force energy inside of your brain, you can help your brain to heal. Okay? And this is very key. Because if we are not energetically aware and balanced people, when we come together to try to share energy with one another, we're sharing that pain and that trauma. And it is my personal belief that depending on certain people's genetic makeup, it determines the capacity for you to conduct these energies through you. Um, so if you have a lot of specific tra types of trauma in your family, it's likely that you are the one called to heal and release a lot of that, which means you may have a lot of that stored within you. So that's one thing that can be done for on the masculine side of this conversation. Um, and, you know, it's important to take self-assessments to see, am I having symptoms of complex PTSD? Am I having symptoms of being in fight or flight? Am I having symptoms that could be categorized as high-functioning autism? Am I having symptoms of manic depression? Am I having symptoms of borderline personality disorder or bipolar? So self-assessment isn't a formal diagnosis, but it's a great way to get a read on what's actually happening within your mental ecosystem your emotional ecosystem which ultimately is the foundation of your spiritual ecosystem so be sure to like share and subscribe share this video if you feel compelled to and drop a comment below and let me know that you have an aha moment during this message what was your biggest takeaway from this and for anyone else listening i have a few spots um, possibly left over for the Sacred Sister Circle. I will be accepting a few more coaching calls. Um, it's filling up so fast. So if, if it's been resonating with you, then consider booking a coaching call with me. Um, our first class will begin October 15th, 2023. And I will continue for six weeks. Group coaching and I may provide one-on-one coaching as well. 
Um, but I'm opening this up because right now we're being called to heal these aspects of us. <laughs> 